talking mad shit, man. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Hey, hey, he said it! He said it! He said it. The world hey, hey, the world knows! He said it! Next fight, there's no going back now! There ain't no going back! Hey, you better commit to it! Sign that, baby! Sign me! Sign me! Hey, look at me! I'm dancing! I'm happy! Look at me! I'm dancing! Bachata on you! I'm dancing! Hey, yo, look at me! Hey, yo, look at me! Hey, yo, I'm gonna dance too, yo! They making that shit happen? Hey, no, but look. Hey, Yo, that's how you build a fight. That's how you build a fight. Son, instead of these other Boston promoters, they need Mike Tyson to make these fights, bro. Mike Tyson will, will like entice you. He will bring out the dog into you, the primal, the primal urge of competitiveness, of war. Like he will bring out the war god inside you and make these men fight. I could tell they were heated at each other. Especially Ryan and Javante, they were heated. They already wanted to kill each other just seeing see each other on the phone. That talk, that build up. See, that's how you build a fight. That's how you build a fight. Get Mike Tyson on everyone's ass in boxing and be like, fight this motherfucker next. And if they end up fighting, cut Mike Tyson a check right now. Cut Mike Tyson a check right now. Crazy. That's how you build a fight, baby. That's how you build a fight. Yo, what's up guys? We're back with another video and today we just got some wild news. We got Ryan Garcia calling out Javante Tang Davis in his Mike Tyson hot boxing podcast video and it is going, it blowing up the boxing world and this is something we need to freaking see. We need to freaking see this shit. And dude, mind you, Ryan Garcia just came off of an incredible win against Olympic gold medalist, two-time world title challenger Luke Campbell and knocked him out in a devastating fashion and just a very impressive win. Especially coming up from a knockdown, round two, collecting himself and showing up to end up knocking out Luke Campbell. Beautiful, beautiful performance. And Javante Tank Davis, who came off a who has knockout of the year, two division world champion, and he came off a incredible knockout win against Leo Santa Cruz. So we need this fight to happen. This is no joke. This is something that like we the Boston community needs. Everyone is talking about this. Everyone wants this fight. Ryan Garcia also called out Javante Tank Davis and said, After Luke Campbell, I'm coming for you, Tank. I'm coming for you. Son, if you can't tell me, like, come on, dog. This kid is chasing greatness right now. I mean, we all thought, you know, he was just, like, just talking to talk. But, I mean, he really wants it. Like, this, the stuff that he's talking right now is, like, already blowing up. Son, these are... I might get shit for this, but I don't give a fuck. Look. Ryan Garcia and Javante Tang Davis are the biggest stars in boxing, period. Biggest stars in boxing, period. And you cannot tell me any different. Especially towards a younger crowd. They have a bigger audience. Son, if you were to put up a picture of, of Javante Tang Davis and Ryan Garcia and Earl Spence Jr. and... Lomachenko or Teofimo Lopez or Haney or Joshua. Come on now. Let's just be real. Especially in the United States. More so around the world. They're going to choose Ryan Garcia and Gervonta Tank Davis. Here's the next generation. Oscar De La Hoya and Floyd Mayweather fight. Honestly, if it happens. If God willing, like. This whole coronavirus stuff, like, calms really down and we're able to be a crowd. Like, I guarantee you that would sell out arenas, bro. Pay-per-views are going to be massive. I would pay to watch this fight. I don't care. I'll pay twice to watch this fight. Because the buildup for years, I think it's been happening for, like, maybe a couple years. These guys have been going back and forth. And mind you, they're both, like, coming up in their primes. 
two young good fighters great fighters and it's just like the magnitude of this fight that is going to do for for boxing is what it needs like we won for this fight alone we need a fire undercard of some of the best upcoming boxers because it's going to look because this fight is going to be so big so good for boxing because these are the, these are the two biggest stars going at it maybe not the best in the division because you have you know obviously you have teofimo lomachenko haney of course but come on now who wants like come on everyone wants to see Giovante davis against ryan garcia anything with their names on it sells like crazy mind you look and one let's get one thing straight not a lot of people everyone gives ryan garcia shit why are you gonna give him shit like he literally honestly keep giving him shit because he fights with a chip on his shoulder trying to prove every fight so i'm gonna take my glasses it's glare so y'all can see me in my eyes yo every fight he fights with a chip on his shoulder He's trying to prove himself. He's daring to be great. And no one takes in consideration of like, look, man, he's not a bad kid. I mean, he's he's freaking cool. Like, he's a cool guy. Like, you know, he's trying to put out positivity and stuff. And a lot of hardcore boxing fans and boxers hate on him because of his stardom. And they feel like he's not that good. And yet, you know, he's a star. Well, I mean, he's been selling himself since like freaking Instagram since the beginning. He's the blueprint. Look, man, I've been seeing Ryan Garcia since he was at 2,000 followers fighting in Mexican bars down in Mexico, bro. Like, like I've been following him since the freaking beginning, and just watching him grow this much is incredible. I had a time in my life where maybe I didn't really like him that much because, you know, he was just being, like, you know, etc. But now he's, like, he's dedicated, he's hungry, and he's being genuine. He's being himself. Like, he's fighting through stuff, and he's still getting it done. Like, he's fighting the best fighters, and, you know... He's daring to be great. And how can you hate on the kid? Like, honestly, he has so much haters. It's just hate. It's just envy. Like, come on now. Give him respect. You don't have to like him. Just give him his respect. He earned that shit. He earned his key, bro. He knocked out. Everyone was saying he's not ready for Duno. Knocked out Duno round one. Clean as shit. Dominated him. That shit was nothing. Knocked out Fonseca, which took Javante Davis eight rounds to beat Fonseca. And still got the job done, but... Ryan knocked him out round one. Went like that went viral. That spoke volume. And now he beat world contender, two time world title challenger, Olympic gold medalist, seasoned veteran Luke Campbell, who isn't a bad fighter. He went 12 rounds with Lomachenko, L L Jorge Linares, and he knocked out Ryan round two. The hate behind this kid is incredible. But keep hating on him. Because this is just like, this is makes him want to drive further. And that's what I respect about Ryan. Especially in his last fight against Luke Campbell. He got knocked down. And got right back up. And dominated the fight. This is a fight that boxing needs. This is a fight. Superstar, generational super, superstars. I'm not knocking Teofimo at all. But the thing that I hate that. People hate on Javante and Ryan for it. It's because they're superstardom and their star status. They establish that. They're both crossover stars. And after boxing, they're set. They have stuff after boxing. Which not a lot of people do. But instead of hating, why don't people use that as a blueprint to sell themselves? Be exciting. Be charismatic. I know boxing is a great sport. Boxing is an amazing sport itself. There's a lot of amazing fighters that don't do that. A lot of fighters that don't get credit but closed mouths don't get fed closed mouths don't get fed and if you're not putting yourself out there like you cannot complain like pay for promotion collab with somebody Javante Davis Ryan Garcia are the biggest stars in boxing period and this is needed for boxing to take it to the next level it needs a good undercard with great matchups and great Great fights, great prospects, so they can get their names out there. I could see Sean Garcia fight in that card. 
like you know sean garcia is learning from his brother getting something outside of boxing and that's being hated on i mean how else are you going to make money outside of boxing i understand boxing is a lifestyle but what happens it's a dangerous sport it's a blood sport it's a dangerous sport and nothing's promised in the sport you can get hurt you may never be the same again and then what you know these guys are making a living for themselves after their career. It's a short career. It's a short career. Boxing isn't forever. These guys are the blueprints for the next generation stars that's gonna help boxing go. The lightweight division in general, not just Javante Davis and I mean they are the biggest stars in boxing, but the lightweight division in general is the heat up like is the top in boxing right now, and you can't tell me otherwise. You cannot tell me otherwise. The lightweight division is going to make boxing booming with these stars. And much more after that. I hope they learn. And stop like, you know. I'm going for Ryan Garcia in this fight. Just because everyone's talking shit about him. And I just want to see a big upset. Tang's going to be the favorite. But I think Ryan's going to show up. Gervonta Tang Davis is making waves himself. He is... Big part of the hip hop culture. Everyone knows Javante Tank Davis, the the knockout monster, all that stuff, and he's a great fighter. And dude, he is a star. He's a global superstar himself. Everyone respects Tank, and he's a monster with so much talent and stuff. He's known all over, especially in the culture, etc. Like he's 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 like the Mike Tyson like star wise in this era and he's a great fighter came off an incredible win against leo santa cruz showed a lot of boxing iq but in my opinion i feel like he should have won that fight yet in 135 he hasn't fought no one he hasn't fought enough in 135 no disrespect to Javante davis he's still top five in that division i have him at number three in that division just because of his talent and skill alone and power his incredible power but he's never fought anyone that is a solid 135 pounder he's been fighting guys who come up to meet him and wait like leo santa cruz come on dude. he's like a freaking 126 pounder and stylistically gervonta was definitely supposed to get that fight but mind you leo did want the fight and he is a credible opponent but again, he's a small, smaller dude than Gervonta. He still put up a good fight, but you know, I want to see. I want Gervonta to fight a solid 135 pounder. And this fight with Ryan Garcia, they both have something to prove. Who's gonna be the next king of, of 135? Who's gonna be the next one star in boxing? Who's gonna be the next star in boxing? And you cannot tell me otherwise, and I will debate anybody on this. But Ryan has done more things at. 135 or boxing in general than Gervonta if we're gonna say facts just off like his win over Luke Campbell alone as a natural in the 135 pound division Ryan is is, is on top of Tank because Tank has a final win 135 and I'm saying like not saying he wouldn't stop anyone but I, I need him to fight in case all right in case of anything if Ryan has to fight Haney next. He would beat Haney. He's beating Haney. There's no way he, he's not going to beat Haney. And Gervonta should fight a 135-pounder, a.k.a. Javier Fortuna, the number one in the WBC. Jorge Linares. If he could get a fight with Teofimo or Lomachenko, even though Loma might go down away, I don't really have him in my rankings anymore. He might be lower. Then Haney, just because I'm not sure if he's going to fight at 135 no more. But mind you, he's done a lot of work. And the, and the difference between Ryan Garcia and Gervonta Tank Davis, we've never seen Gervonta get dropped and come back. Ryan got dropped and came right back and won the fight by knockout in an incredible way. Didn't lose heart. He showed heart and he needed that fight against Luke Campbell to show and prove to himself that he has heart. You can't teach heart. Like, come on now. Show character and show heart when, like, it's easy to be on top and stuff but when you get knocked down it's not about the knockdown it's like how you get up how you get up when 
life knocks you down how how you get up like that's the beauty metaphoric beauty about boxing it's not about how hard you can hit it's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward it just metaphoric life thing in boxing that's so beautiful is when you dig deep and you find yourself in a place where you need to show yourself like i'm gonna be great I'm never going to give up. I'm going to get up. I'm going to beat life's ass. I'm going to come back. That's what I love about boxing. That's the beauty about boxing. And I love the sport to my core. And just seeing these two amazing fighters, the lightweight division, they're heating up. Teofimo Lopez, Ryan Garcia, Javante Tate Davis, Devin Haney, Lomachenko, and other fighters are doing their thing. They're doing great. And I love to see it. I love it. Oh, shit's so good. I might just hop in there myself, you know? But yeah, guys, that's it for, for the video today. Um, I love boxing. I don't know why I never made this kind of stuff earlier, dude. I'm always debating with people against boxing, with boxing. I'm always talking about boxing in my story. I talk about boxing all the time. I just didn't talk about it in my YouTube yet. I don't know why. It just like came up to me. But if you guys like this kind of stuff, Tell me in the comments what kind of stuff you like me to do. Um, I will give a breakdown analysis of any fighter, any fight, what's next. Tell me who you want me to talk about. If you want me to do that video about my personal lightweight rankings or just talk about any fighter up next. Like, come on. Like, I love doing this. This was really fun to make. And, you know. <laughs> like, you know, this stuff is incredible, you know, like, I love boxing to my core, I love the sport, it saved my life, shout out Box Raw, y'all gonna sponsor me soon, but this fight is incredible, boxing is at a high right now, throughout, with, without the quarantine and all, I've seen great fights, start of the year, good ass fight, and there's so much more, I could do so much more boxing stuff, like, just tell me in the comments, but yeah, thank you all for watching, Hajime no Zeus, I'll see you guys next time, thank you, Bye.